How to install an LTS NVR and cameras without a monitor using only your smartphone and internet connection. Introducing LPP, LTS Platinum Partner, the pro app for security installers. Hello everyone, this is George from LTS Security Australia. And today what we're gonna show you is how to activate and install a four channel NVR from LTS. So this is the LTN 8704. Uh, QN-P4 and uh, basically all I've got connected here is the power supply we have our network cable which is connecting to our network for internet and I have uh, 3362 I think or 3382 uh, IP camera with a Surtec patch lead now um, these are the ultra things from Surtec You're not supposed to connect these to PoE you're supposed to use PoE grade patch cables when you're connecting to PoE, but we'll just use it, it's only a short length for this demonstration. Um, so what you'll need first off the bat is LTS Platinum Partner installed, which is our installer app. So I've got that pre-installed and um, registered. So you can register on this app if you're an installer. We highly recommend you, you need this, but um, we highly recommend you get it if you don't know about it. It's available on the LTS USA website. So what we're going to do is just turn the recorder on and wait for that to boot up. And uh, while that boots up, I'm going to basically uh, switch over to my other phone and show you how that works. Okay, so here we are in the LTS Platinum Partner app or LPP. So we've got the phone connected to the same Wi-Fi network that the recorder is connected to. Now keep in mind the recorder doesn't support Wi-Fi so it has to be connected via a LAN cable. And um, what you firstly do is you click on IP portal. Now we have a DHCP network here so what that means is the recorder will automatically get an IP address so we can see it. Otherwise if you don't have a DHCP network you won't be able to connect to the recorder. So we're going to click on activate. Now we've got a predetermined password that we use which is this. So we've got that for both the password and the verification code. Now you just click on next and uh, you've got to wait for this to go through and do its thing. So it's going to activate the device with the password we've provided, configure the network and set all the other parameters and initialize the hard disk drive. So make sure you've got a hard drive installed, of course. So then you click on next. Now, <clears throat> the next step, you've just got to click on next again, so it won't show you a camera yet. And uh, we've got to create a site. So here, and we'll just give it a name. So we'll just put demo. Okay. Uh, now that's, we've got to tick the recorder in the list. So it's already pre-ticked, so you press OK. And now while it adds the recorder, you just got to wait. So this is going to add it to LPP. So um, here what you can do is if you want to share the device to your customer with um, LTS Connect, so the customer has to have LTS Connect installed, they need to register an account. And uh, they can do that via email or mobile phone number. And once that's done, then you can transfer the account to them. Uh, if you transfer, then you'll lose connection from here. It will hand over the device um, or you can share it. Uh, so your customer only has the permissions if you share. Um, but that's if you do a complete handover. So we'll just, we won't worry about that right now. Just complete. So you'll notice up the top, it says not handed over. So the device is, has not been shared yet. Um, but down the bottom, if you do want to hand over the site, you can do that now, or we can do that later. I just want to show you how this app works. So now that the recorder is in the list, you can see it down the bottom. There's a little picture coming up. We'll click on there, and um, it brings up the information of the recorder, uh, serial number. And up the top here, you can see there's a little cog, and there is a play button, and then there's a playback button. So if you go to the middle one, you should bring up the stream. So you can see your camera. Uh, so there are all the basic functions that you have in LTS Connect. Click on back, click on playback. And here we already have some recording because we had the recorder set up before. Um, 
so it hasn't initialized the hard drive actually it's already been initialized so that's showing you that playback is working so we'll click on back we've only got one camera connected here so the other option that you have is the setup so on the top there is the gear symbol so you click on that um, in here you can go into your system settings you can adjust your time and date if you need to if you're different if you're in a different area um, you can go down to video and audio so if you need to adjust the resolution of the camera at the moment we've got it set up to uh, medium video quality 15 frames and 4096 bitrate i think that's quite fine so go back uh, you've also got your image settings your display settings, so you can change your contrast and brightness, your OSD settings, if you want to change the camera name, so we'll just change this to front door, saved. Um, and if you want to change the date format in Australia, we do day, month, month, year, year. Click on the back. Um, and um, the other thing you might want to do is your storage management, your hard drive management. So if we can, we can clear, well, that's your hard drive there. So if you want to format the hard drive, you can format the hard drive. Again, this is all on the installer side. So we'll go back, scheduled settings. So this is the record set, uh, schedule for the camera. <clears throat> At the moment, it's all set to motion detection. So we don't need to change that. That's what we want to have it on. Um, your basic event, which is your motion detection. So this is all um, set already for the whole area. You can adjust this if you want to. You can change the, um, the sensitivity. Uh, at the moment, we've got it enabled for human and vehicle detection. Um, that's what we want to have it on. Um, if your camera supports the audio light linkage, then you can configure those settings. This camera does not support that um, so we'll go back now if you want to do smart event you can also do a line cross here so say for example you wanted to do a line cross for an area so you click on draw rule now this will flip the phone over you can adjust the area that you want it to do the line cross click on confirm so it's very easy um, to do through the phone i actually find it easier to um, to adjust things for customers through the phone. Um, you can also set your schedule for your line cross. So we'll just save that. And uh, you can make sure your um, linkage is all set. So we wanna do a notify surveillance center. So it tells the app on LTS Connect when there is a line cross. So that's the main things we wanted to do your maintenance you can restart the recorder remotely if your customer's got a problem so this app is great for not only configuring um, but also uh, if you do have any problems you can get in and you can do what you need to do uh, those are the main sort of functions that needs to be programmed so there's not much else for this demonstration um, so we'll just go back now um, we're back to the main screen um, you'll notice here we've got try 24 7 proactive status inspection for free this is lts's uh, health monitoring service they offer a free trial uh, at the moment uh, this service is not available in australia but hopefully we should have that soon um, so here you've got some more options for assigning another person um, handover report. So there's a lot of uh, functions that you can use as a company to uh, to utilize the, the software. Um, in the, this, you can also see there's a little tick box. There's a green tick box, meaning that it's added and it's, it's working. Uh, there is a connection, which is good. So the green uh, two arrows pointing shows there's a good connection. It's 20 microseconds on the LAN, so it means it's got a good connection to your LAN. And um, again, if you want to restore the device, meaning put it back to default, you can click on restore. There's a little uh, shortcut there. You can reset the password. Um, so there's quite a lot of options that you can do remotely now. So we'll go back. 
and um, yep back to here so the main things in this to check is that the recorder is playing back of course I can see that it hasn't actually taken our camera name so we might need to reboot the recorder oh there you go okay so uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you at the top is a really great feature which is called site group so this is where you can create a group uh, for your sites so if you've got a lot of sites you can individually create different groups and associate your sites to the groups so you can find them easier so that's a great little feature to know now down the bottom uh, there are some other little shortcuts that are also up the top like health um, so your health monitoring this is for you can it's a paid service so LTS do offer a paid service for health monitoring this is not available yet in Australia but hopefully it will be soon there's also toolkit so your disk calculator um, great little tool if you need to use to calculate your hard disk requirements great for the installer bandwidth calculator for your network calculations but what we want to go over to is me so this is where the installer has their information of the account that you created now that's very important for um, you to share the account or if the customer needs to share to you but what we're going to do is we're going to just going to hand over the site so go back to the site it says not handed over so we want to hand over the site so we'll just do hand over by transferring now if you do this, what it says is after the installation and configuration of devices are completed, you can hand over devices to your customer by transferring. After your customer accepts the handover, your customer takes the ownership of the devices and has all the device permissions, and you need to apply for permissions from your customer to maintain the devices remotely. Your customer can cancel or disable your service uh, permissions at any time so basically um, if you if for privacy this is the best option um, if they are wary of you checking their site uh, you you need to select this option uh, the other site let me just go back is handover by sharing uh, so basically this shares the device so you still have as the install you still have the ownership of the devices um, and your customer only has the permission to use them where this could be good is you know if some customers like to touch things and they stuff things up uh, this still gives you the control uh, so a lot of installers like to keep this um, and as long as you have a security license you know and, and there's a good trust between you and the customer uh, but I do suggest that you are transparent with your customer so they understand what each um, setting means so you know not everybody will be happy with you having access to their cameras if they're in private areas so at the moment we'll just do handover by sharing we need to wait for that to go through press I agree now um, this is where you set the customers permissions so if they if you don't want them to have a certain thing like PDZ control, if you don't want them to take control of the PDZ, two-way audio, receive alarms, etc., we'll just leave everything ticked. Now, what this means is your permissions. So you can also restrict yourself um, or change it. So at the moment it's set to lifetime. So we'll just leave it on lifetime. So if you change it to one hour, then you'll only have access for one hour until you finish the install. Um, so we'll just have I have all device permissions click on next now the handover um, you can get them to scan your QR code or you can hand over by phone or email so we'll just do phone or email and our demo account is info at ltsecurityinc.com.au oops put two F's Okay, you can make some remarks if you need to tell them, hey, it's me. Click on handover. So handover operation is complete. So we'll just flip over to LTS Connect. Now in LTS Connect on the customer's phone, you'll see a notification under services, device handover application. Now this is all the things that we set up. I'm going to click on I agree. Operation success. 
now the customer can see the account and it's as easy as that so um, you can see now that they can go into playback they can do what they need to do so you have full control we'll go back to LPP go back refresh and that's gone away now so the site has been handed over um, by sharing but you still have access to control the system and uh, yeah that's about it guys so thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions please feel free to leave some comments um, and if you want us to do any other videos uh, yep, yeah, let us know. Thanks for watching.